But I was thinking, I was, I was thinking of speed because I know like Luigi's, Luigi's has great the range. Well, he that he lunges forward. Yeah. Almost like he teleports forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's a character that we don't get to see every day, Captain. Two. Two Diddy Kongs. Two Diddy Kongs. What's better than one? What a, what a classic match. I gotta go. I gotta go. By the way. Oh, you do? No. Diddy Kong. Oh, I thought you were about to leave. <laughs> Goodness. Actually. Yeah. Well, anyway, later. We didn't get lunch yet. Yeah, that's, that's the thing that should happen. We can, uh, we can do that. After. Okay, after the set. Here after we go. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so wow. Pulse to Nova versus Pulse Rog, two Pulse players. Man, Pulse is coming in droves to <laughs> get this tournament. To the point where they're having civil wars in the bracket. Are they like a, a, a Michigan-based like crew? Uh, they have to be, right? I think okay. Midwest, Midwest, Midwest based. Okay. Yeah. I won't say Michigan because I know there are people that reside in like Ohio and uh, the other states in the Midwest. All right. So Nova playing Black Diddy Kong and Pulse playing Classic Diddy Kong. Did you notice how that was my way to just not try to mention the other states? Because anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nice tech chases, by the way. I'm liking this matchup. Both of these guys look pretty evenly matched. Yeah, they probably play each other very often. So we're probably gonna, we're gonna see some things that you wouldn't normally see in a Diddy Kong uh, or, or Ditto, as they're called in Smash. Yes, I have to say I'm really impressed to see how Sonoto, even after all the uh, nerfs, staying true to his character. He's been playing Diddy for the longest, even in Brawl. Now fourth, we're gonna do it on the platform. Is gonna give him a little bit of help off the stage there. That was a little too kawaii. <laughs> uh, the, the crawl backwards? Yeah, yeah that was good. It looked like a wave dash, actually. Exactly. Did you feel inclined to say kawaii because you're at Yumacon? Or was that a thing you normally say? Oh, say. <laughs> Did you see that interaction with those two oh, down tilts? Yes, they just went <laughs> down tilts going right through each other. <laughs> no regard. <laughs> Sakurai. Got him. <laughs> That's exactly what he's saying every time. <laughs> Ooh, I thought we were gonna see like a drop zone fair. Yeah, he got a, an accidental uh, foot still jump. You see that? He went for it there, but immediately just down tilted upon landing. Oh, that buffer. Oh, oh, he had the air dodge read. Yeah. And think that neutral air was to pop him back up in the air. Neutral air definitely a combo extender. There it is. He heard me and went for the drop zone fair that time. And you know his movement is unbelievable. You can tell, yeah, you can definitely tell he's been playing Diddy Kong since probably day one, honestly. Nice D drop. Yeah, good stuff right there by Rod staying close enough to be able to get that shield grab off the first down tilt. Oh, and Sonoto's just rushing <laughs> that out. Oh, he's a miss. Diddy Kong players accidentally evading each other. And it's looking pretty good for Zenodo. Um, but Pulse is doing his best to try and bring this back. 108 is not too bad for Diddy Kong. Definitely <laughs> needs to watch out for a smash attack. Up. There's an up smash. Mm, banana to down tilt to up smash. Yep. And he opened that up with the glide, the jump cancel glide toss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, so match number two, it looks like Zenodo is counter-picking two villager. Is the thing? Does Zenodo have a villager? Uh huh. Does Zenodo have, do you know if he has a villager? Uh, I've seen him dabble. I've seen him dabble. It's just weird because, you oh, know. They change the songs. No. No. <laughs> it's weird, though, because he had a, such a strong first match, but I guess, uh, I guess he wants to try something else. And Ice Cream Land is just not that high. Well, it's really not. Oh, cool. So we are on. We're technically on Final Destination because the ceilings are the same. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know this is Omega. So. Yeah. No platforms. Uh, I wonder why the counterpick the villager. I'm sure like, I'm sure he knows how to play, but he he won pretty convincingly in the first match. He looked like he was in control of the match, even though it was uh, not a two stock or anything. That's definitely something you, you can't do as villager. It's just one up throw. That'll never work. Yeah. Unless you know your opponent just likes to sit in shield all the time. <laughs> even, man, even sitting in shield, it's so funny. His, his throw is so slow that you can react to it and just spot dodge. Sounds, you're like, sounds like you used to be a villager, man. Uh, yeah, I've dabbled. <laughs> I've dabbled in the villager a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the banana. Okay, oh, I yeah, he's going to hold on to it. Refreshing it, right? Yeah, has to refresh it every 30 seconds. Smart. Eyes on the clock. Oh, nice, and he gets the dash though somehow. 
Oh, there's gonna be another opportunity potentially for a forward smash, but instead. Okay. <laughs> what a parabola, jeez. Woo! This ran went over full, full circle. That was actually crazy. Another shot. Man, look yeah, looking to get Diddy Kong's recovery from Zuffy. I don't see him using tree at all or even bowling ball off the ledge. Yeah, so that's definitely what I was about to mention. Oh, okay, he uses the banana this time. Okay. Oh, oh, this is off the ledge. That's unfortunate. That was a true gutter ball right there. <laughs> the gutter ball. <laughs> Missed this target and nice. nice. It's the trade. Yeah, even if you hit a villager out of the forward smash, it's the ball still drops if you let go. No, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty impressed with Zenona's villager so far. Yeah, it's pretty hype, you know. I like that banana into down tilt. That was pretty cool. And the fact that he's fighting on stage. <laughs> I, you know what? Uh, you know, he's, he's doing a great job. I think he would be sh probably stronger if he played Custom Villager. Okay. So, <laughs> it's really good zoning so far. <laughs> you know what? I'll say one thing. Zonoto definitely looks like he has a, a rush down Rushdown style? Rushdown style Villager, yeah. yeah. Not something I'm very used to do. So, Rog able to close out that stock after six, taking 69%. Oh, nice. Man, that... <laughs> What a man. You can tell he really wants to get this Diddy Kong recovery. And tur turnips are definitely the great, the best attack to do it because they're active for so long. And I love how neutral it just comes out really quick. So if there is pressure on Villager, instead of like shield grabbing, he can just like immediately air out. Wow, Clank situation there. Yeah, nice. Clank's Bucky Foot Clanky with that forward smash. Uh, that's the actual weakness, or one of the weaknesses of uh, his forward smash. It can Clank with certain attacks. Uh, even off stage, a character kind of re trying to recover can just Clank with the attack. Wow. Right there, it looks like Rog is just going for unsafe pressure. <laughs> Misses the, the throw, but no punish. Oh, so Noto kind of looked like he was reading that aerial approach. <laughs> nice. He did the late upbeat by Rog, but he's still having a hard time. Oh, the double oh bowling ball. God. This man had two bowling balls in his pockets. See, you're right. 2 0 victory right there. Is it Noto? Yeah, I'm absolutely impressed with his villager, so shouts to that. And let me tell you, I'm the guy.